Hi guys, welcome to Day by Day Vlogs. I'm Lene, this is my horse Chance, and I have a YouTube channel called Life of the Horses TV. Hope you guys go check it out. I have two new videos. One's a fitness video for horse riders, and the other one's a tail video. Enjoy the video, bye. Good morning guys, it is Sunday and in Canada it's a holiday tomorrow. I have two days left of pain meds for both of the bunnies, so I'm gonna do that right now. I got my trusty partner here. Where is she? Getting her boots on. She's getting her boots on because this bunny room, oh, it's a disaster again. to the bar we have been getting so many positive comments about you guys starting our intros it has been amazing I've been able to get to know you guys on a whole different level and I've been loving it but we've been noticing a little bit of um, an issue with some of the videos that are be being sent in we want to use all of your videos so to make sure that you get a turn to start our video you need to have your phone turned this way in landscape view don't video it like this video it like this and also make sure that you talk really loud because if your phone is a little bit away from you nobody can hear you so we need a loud video with your phone turned in landscape mode those are the best ways to get us a video that we can use in our videos but thank you so much you guys for sending them in it's been amazing Our little welcoming committee. committee. Hi, Lola. How can you resist? I'm coming. How can you resist a horse that comes to see you every time you're here? Yeah, this wait. Oh, you put my finger in. Ew! It's disgusting. Hi, Blue. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Tech. Wait, what's happening here? What are you doing with Tex? Sabrina's like, good. Look how long her face is. She has like the longest face. I know. Hi, Ziggy. Um, all right, you guys, this is my horse for today. Um, Kaylee is away to Florida, so they don't want Tex to get out of shape again. Um, so they asked me to ride him. Right, so Gabby's gonna ride Tex today. Remember when I first started riding and I was like, oh. Hey, get over there. Oh, Jack. I love brushing her. She's so amazing. And now I'm like, I could really use a groom. I really uh, could. A groomer? Like dad text a groom. Like somebody who, yeah. I, got a, I have a groomer and it's called Sophia. Sophia, <laughs> where's the groomer? Sophie. And Gabby is writing text today. And uh, if you want to watch more about that, you can watch her on her video because she's making a video about taking care of somebody's horse. Hey, there's the groomer. He showed up. Come on, groom your horse, man. You're in. Right. 
have a cat. Give her a hug. And she hugs me. Okay, well you need to groom her. Let's get going here. I'll show you how to do a breakaway knot. You loop the rope around the pole like that, you tie it like that, and you do it again. And you do this again, and you'll, your horse will never leave. And then your 10 year old daughter comes over and gives you the evil eye. <laughs> and that is horrible because, no! It doesn't break when away. When your horse is rearing and bucking, you have to do, you have to grab this and pull. It's a non breakaway knot. Sam's just joking, you guys. Totally just <laughs> kidding. My question of the day is. How can you tell if your horse is overweight or underweight? To me, Sabrina looks good, but look at this. She looks good. She looks good here. She looks good here. But this part gets me. The belly looks good, and then there's this big gap. You can see her ribs maybe a tiny little bit. But then there's this. Do you like that? Oh, she likes that. <laughs> Big chubby butt. Anyways, I have no idea. Anyways, comment below if you know. Okay, so basically, Gabby wants me to try a Sabrina in a bitless, um, a bridal thing. She's having problems with the bit, and we haven't got her a new one yet. So um, I don't want to ride in her halter. We prefer to. I prefer to ride in a leather, um, a bitless bridal. We don't have that. So the goal is to ride her today in this halter that has a breakaway part on it. The next time we can get to the tax store, we're gonna get them to order us uh, another bitless bridal leather one in the size bigger and a new bit for her. There's Laura riding with a bitless, which is the halter on today. She's testing it out, conquering her fears. Off and off and on too many times. Maybe we should draw the line We've been grasping at the single straws too many nights Yeah, I think we're out of time And I can, I can, I can't take it no more but How is it, riding without a bit? You don't like it? You're just afraid You're just afraid Gabby is now walking Tex around the what's that called? the roll top because Tex has never seen it yet and uh, getting him used to the roll top and all the things out in the arena before she rides the horse. There goes Laura cruising around without a bridle. Squeeze, squeeze, kick, squeeze, squeeze, kick, squeeze, squeeze, kick. It's all I ever hear, and you're not doing it. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, kick, squeeze, squeeze, kick. Squeeze, squeeze, kick. I'm gonna make a shirt for you that says that.
Oh and I've done really good so I'm far. I'm trying to get away with these horses, and this horse is falling away. Nervous in a bitless bridle, in a halter bridle. It's like, it's, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't work as well for me as it does for Gabby. I think I need more training. <laughs> There you go. Did it. Oh, Sabrina. Calling your dad again. Hmm? There's Sophie, she's finally on the horse. Sophie, wave! Sophie's on Sabrina now, I'm gonna western saddle on. I think that's nail it right now. Like sake, me like karate, yeah. You do he's, the good kicking, stuff. Huh? I never give you a he's rebuff. Kicking, you know, okay. Sweeter than chocolate syrup, yeah. Life's a masquerade, masquerade. Again, so <laughs> Hi 
does it feel to be up on riding again? Good. Good, I know. You have to catch me later. Yeah, I know. Just wait, soon it'll be spring and you'll be loving it again. So Gabby learned a super valuable lesson today and it was that she gets super scared and nervous when she's riding a different horse that she doesn't know, but then once she figures it out, she loves it. So now she, I think she's gonna be okay. I think that no matter what horse we end up getting, she's gonna just adjust to it. We are home from the barn. We stopped to get some chicken and we're cooking that up right now, but we're gonna end today's video. Before I do, I wanna show you guys this lucky lady who looks perfectly fine now. Her eye does, you can't even tell. She had a teeny tiny little tiny cut right here and it was pouring blood. It just was pouring out of her. We found a big puddle on the ground. Anyway, she is excellent now and we're really happy. Thank you for all your concern. Um, a comment of the day goes to Melissa Pate and she says, I'm so sorry that Cookie was injured. Hopefully it was nothing serious. Sabrina was amazing with all the kids and babies running around right under around her feet and she could care less. She's really an awesome mare, she is. And lastly, I worry a bit about Sophie. I worry <laughs> that she has lost the drive. A few weeks ago I could see a passion in her eyes for learning and wanting to conquer cantering and move on to jumping and now she just seems to have a eh attitude. I don't mean anything negative by this at all. I adore her and I just worry for her. I worry that her fall really took a toll on her confidence combined with her annoyance with what she said about having to share Sabrina. I'm afraid she's going to shrink into the background and quit. Is that, do you think that's going to happen? I love jumping Tex. I really want to buy Tex now. Okay, so do you think that's going to happen, Sophie? No. No, it's not going to happen. Because I'm getting a party like Jasmine. Yeah, she is going to get her own horse and she rode today and it, I'm t it's so hard in Canada to be riding in winter. It's so hard and she just doesn't have the drive to be battling winter coats and winter boots and the snow and all the cold and, and it's just really <laughs> tricky but she still has That's passion. That's why she doesn't ride in the winter because like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Because you're cold and there's too much layers on But it. she still it's, loves to ride and she loves her lesson. If I don't ride my horse in the winter, then I will lunch. Yeah, she wants her own horse, but she she does have it in her still, and she still really wants to ride. In the past, we've had a lot of time off over winter when it's cold at our old barn. We didn't go; they they it was canceled. But at this barn, we ride unless it's so so cold. So um, this is all new for her, and having to go down all the way. It's a really long walk at this yeah, barn. Yeah, we're not getting that. Yeah, coming. like there's just a lot of things that are against her right now. But it's not the riding, it's not the horses, it's just all the extra stuff. It it's makes it really hard. Weather. Like it is hard to ride here in Canada. No, it's the cold. It's the boots. It's the winter. Right. Okay, but we have to end today's video because we are about to lose our battery power. But we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Boo. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.